What's up everybody, it's the Minute Admin here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the three most popular jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem. So let's get started. So before we actually get started, make sure that you're at trailhead.salesforce.com to follow along with what I'm about to tell you in this video. Also, I'm going to have a follow-up video after this video to talk about other Salesforce jobs and different careers within the Salesforce ecosystem. That's going to be a follow-up video following this video where I cover the three most popular jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem. So with that being said, go to trailhead.salesforce.com salesforce.com to follow along and we're going to get started. So now that we're at trailhead.salesforce.com, we're on the home page of Trailhead here and we're going to click on careers right here where it says skill up for the future. So click on careers and down here in the career section where it says kickstart your career, we see the two most popular jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem. The third is going to be coming up in a little bit. But the Salesforce Administrator job is the most popular job in the Salesforce ecosystem. There are more Salesforce Administrators that I've personally met than anybody else, such as a Salesforce Developer, Sales Manager, or all of these other business titles. So let's go ahead and look at a Salesforce Administrator. So if we look at a Salesforce Administrator, we see that their average salary is $95,000 a year, there's a 37% annual growth rate, and there's been 4,600 670 jobs in the last 12 months in the United States for Salesforce administrators. So, a Salesforce administrator is somebody that automates complex business processes, creates reports and dashboards, trains users on Salesforce, you help people stay efficient and on top of things while keeping an eye on their success and customer relationships. So, a Salesforce administrator is exactly what you see here. If you want to look at more trails to learn how to be a Salesforce ad Admin. These three trails down here will show you how to do that or what you can do is you can come up to learn and then go to trails here and when you click on trails you can come down here to your role and click on admin for administrator and then you can pick your level and then you can look at the trails here. So that's how you're going to learn how to be a Salesforce administrator in Trailhead. So you'll click on learn, click on trails and then come over here and click your role which is administrator and choose your level and then Let's go back and let's look at the other most popular job in the Salesforce ecosystem. So we'll click on careers here. And the second most popular job, the Salesforce developer, is someone who's going to be cracking the code on tricky problems and automating repetitive tasks. They're going to be using things like JavaScript and Apex and other coding languages in order to do the things that they need to do inside of Salesforce. A Salesforce developer is also going to know some things that a Salesforce administrator would need to know as well. So they're going to need to know the declarative side of actually programming Salesforce and putting it together with clicks and not code. But they're really going to be strong in the development side of things, which means they're going to use a lot of code in order to do the things they need to do inside of Salesforce. So some Somebody who would be a Salesforce developer would love puzzles and riddles, technology makes their world go round, and they have an eye for detail. They're going to be doing lots of code in order to do their job, so they're going to have to have an eye for detail. So the average salary in the United States for a Salesforce developer is $125,000 a year. There's been a 21% annual growth rate for Salesforce developers, and there's been 10,890 jobs in the last 12 months for Salesforce developers. If you want to learn how to be a Salesforce developer, you'll go to these trails here, or you can do what we did for the Salesforce administrator, come up to learn, click trails here, and then in your role, you'll click on developer, and then you'll choose your level for a developer. I would suggest that you go to developer beginner if you're just starting out, and then you'll want to pick on the developer beginner trail right here. So that's going to be the second most popular job in the Salesforce ecosystem. If we go back to the home page here and click on careers, we'll go ahead and look at the third most popular job in the Salesforce ecosystem. And that's going to be a Salesforce consultant. 
So we'll click on other roles here. And then the first thing we're going to see is Salesforce consultant here. So a Salesforce consultant is going to be someone who either has Salesforce administrator or Salesforce developer skills and goes and works for a consulting or a third party company that works with Salesforce side by side and is a partner of Salesforce and they go and work for that partner company. So for example, if a company wants to implement Salesforce but they don't want to hire an actual Salesforce admin or a Salesforce developer, then they're going to hire a consultant to come in and build Salesforce out for them. And then when that job is done, the consultant leaves or the consultant trains other people to use Salesforce at the company or the consultant stays on retainer to do small projects for that company. So a Salesforce consultant is exactly what it sounds like. They're a consultant and they're going to come in, get the job done, and then leave. So a Salesforce consultant sounds salary is going to range anywhere between the Salesforce administrator and the Salesforce developer salary or even more or even less. It really depends on the consultant company that you go and work for. But those are the three most popular careers or jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about the different clouds and how you can fit into the different clouds inside of the Salesforce ecosystem. You've got Sales Cloud, you have Service Cloud, Marketing Cloud, you have CPQ, and then I'm going to show you how being a Salesforce administrator or a Salesforce developer or a Salesforce consultant fits inside of those different clouds. And I'll show you how you can expand your Salesforce knowledge to learn those different clouds and have even more career opportunities for you. So stay tuned for that video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on this video and also don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future Minute Admin videos. Thanks.